Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Hope you're all doing well. So let's jump in with an energy check-in and see what is coming up for you, shall we? Let's get started. So Aquarius, starting off with the tarot cards, let's get you prepared for this incoming energy. Just a quick heads up though, this is a general reading, so take what resonates for you, leave the rest for others. If you would like me to check out your own personal energy, I'd love to do that for you. Just look in the description of the video, it tells you what you need to do there. Or if you need any help, just drop me an email, I'd love to help you as well. Okay, let's start. What is coming up for you, Aquarius? Did we get, no, didn't get a flip in there, I thought we did. Oh, okay, strength. Got, what have we got here, Aquarius? Okay. Wow. So something's going to be testing your strength, what I see here. Um, but I feel some of you may be doubting yourself, which is why we have the strength in the blocked. It tells me that the energy of the strength card isn't isn't as strong as it should be the energy will be switching so on one hand you will feel ready to go after this whatever this is on one hand you will feel brave um i see you have courage but on the other hand it's like you're doubting yourself second guessing yourself about something here aquarius and i believe it's something aligned with your past i've got the six of chalices here this is the chalices is um cups in this deck of cards so this tells me that you will be looking back to your childhood i see you reminiscing i do see you reminiscing i think that you're going to want to take the lead with something with this king of wands it tells me that you're wanting to step into the energy of the king of wands which is someone who is in charge someone who takes control who is passionate and um, you have a lot of passionate and desires in inside of you aquarius this may test your strength but i do think that there's something from your childhood some memories some kind of urges or desires that you had before which is too strong to ignore and that's why you step into the king, the king of one's energy it's like yes you may be nervous you may doubt yourself a little and um, you know that it will test your character and your strength but because of these memories because of um all dreams or whatever this is from your past happy memories i feel it kind of urges you to go after this to be strong to be brave so you may have to act tough on the outside but on the inside you may be you know having a little bit of a oh what happens if it doesn't work out kind of moment but i do see you putting a front on i see you trying to be brave and trying to be strong and, and show courage um because you share a lot of happy memories of this. You feel like you want to go for this because it was your destiny, I feel. And I think at one point in the past, you were convinced that it was your destiny and you had a lot of um, memories come forward recently or due to come in that will remind you of those dreams that you had of those passions that you may have let slip or those connections that didn't work out before something from the past is revisiting you Aquarius and you now feel ready to step up and go and get it that's what I get maybe you've held off because of these doubts but now I see that's changing so let's see what you don't see coming. Let's get right into this and we'll be able to know more about this as well to see what this is all about. Let's see Aquarius, what you don't see coming. 
Queen of Chalices, the Devil. Oh, that's an interesting combination. So it's like your feelings and intuition is something that has you kind of um, controlled in a sense. This has a tie over you, Aquarius, and it's because you know that it's something you want. The Queen of Chalices is someone who is very intuitive, someone who is nurturing, empathic. And because of these feelings that you have, because of this inner knowing and knowing that you need to be nurturing and um, understanding of this, that kind of binds you to it. It's like you can't let this go because of this reason. It has control because of these urges. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It just tells me that um, it's your intuition because you know that, that this should have happened. Or um, it's like you always have a recurring dream, like you should have did this. You should, you should have gone down this path. You should reach out to this person. You should have this in your life now. That's, it's like that niggling kind of doubt. Um, like what happens if it never happens? I will never know what happens. What happens if I'm going down the wrong path because I was supposed to have this? That's what I'm getting there. I think you know that this was supposed to be in your life and the, and you feel very strongly about this Aquarius which is why it's it's a tie it's it's controlling you you can't ignore it seven of chalices eight of wands yeah options are coming in fast you won't see this but you will have options doors will be opening up for you and um and I do see you choosing paths you want to go down. So you're going to be looking at something from your past, something you feel passionate about, something you feel called to have in your energy. And when you bring this forward, it's like it, it opens up other doors. It's like you go, you open up a door and there's loads of corridor, corridors and there's loads of doors there. That's what I feel here. And you won't even expect this. You won't even think that this is possible, that you will have these options, but you will. And very quickly as well. There you are. There's a star card. Your energy, Aquarius. I see hope being restored and you being able to nurture this. You're giving that second chance. Something's coming back into your life, Aquarius. And you're given a second chance to nurture this and to, um, and to reap the rewards of your efforts. But something does need to be looked after. Something um, is a responsibility. It, it takes you to step up. You have to nurture this. You have to be patient. But you know that when uh, the rewards come in, it will be worth it. And Spirit has given this back to you. It's listening and it's hearing that the universe is hearing that you want this back. You want this to return in your life. So it's saying, well, here you go then. There's, there's that opportunity that you missed, but you have to put the work in. And I see you doing that. I see you nurturing something here, looking after something. If this, this is going to be different for all of you. For some of you, this is about a connection. Maybe a connection was lost and you miss this person, for example, okay? And this person, um, you have that opportunity to have back in your life. You know that you need to nurture this connection to make it strong again you have to put the work in but you know once you put that work in once you put that effort in it will be worth it because it was so good before for others of you if this is about a long lifelong dream that you had maybe you wanted to do something as a child and you you got put off the idea maybe your doubts put you off let's say it's about a business maybe you wanted to set up a business when you were young but you got convinced it would be a bad idea, so you didn't do it. But then you always have that niggling doubt. Should I have done this? That's what keeps you up at night, It's what I'm hearing. And you always think, should I have gone down this path? So that opportunity is now being revisited and you're going to have um, 
you can you are going to have the opportunity to actually explore this option but you do have to put the work in that's what i get but hope has been restored wish is getting granted let's see what else the knight the, sorry the king of chalices that's the king of cups with the four of swords yeah yeah peace and tranquility it's like you're going to have um the answer you want which will give you that peace it will it will allow you to rest to know that um that you're on the right path it's like you've silenced those inner voices those inner voices saying you should do this you need to do this um it's it's now giving you that peace that peace of mind you know answering those questions that's what i get there yeah i see you looking inward temperance as well uh-huh yeah you're doing a lot of soul searching i see you withdrawing from a situation so that you can find that balance you need to blend energies maybe this thing from the past needs to um come into your life but you have to find that balance there to manage everything because you because you might have something else going on right now you know it's like it has to work alongside this and you're trying to find the way of how can you find this balance how can you nurture this and also take care of the other stuff you have going on as well that's kind of what i get but you will find those answers and it, it starts with looking within you're, you're going to have to take a step back so you can observe and you can do a lot of soul searching here and find the answers but you need to trust in yourself aquarius if people are putting doubts there don't listen to them your intuition is guiding you right now let's get two more i've got the five of pentacles with the page of wands hmm yeah so i feel yeah. like you may um you may have felt like you've lost out on something that's what I feel with these two cards here. It's like there was a passionate beginning. There was a new adventure. But you may feel as well, Aquarius, I see those doubts coming back. I do. And I see you feeling like um, maybe you, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe this is something that, that you aren't able to do. But out of this, this um, these doubts... I've also got the page of wands, which tells me that if something's not working, you're going to sort of tweak it and make it work. You're going to open up new possibilities, new doors. So although you may feel like a bit of a misfit, you might feel like, oh, this is never going to work. Something else comes in to make this work. It's like you find other roots. It's very interesting. What will you see coming? The Knight of Pentacles, yeah. You being driven by a goal. Having patience, taking the right steps. Slowly, I see slow movement because you want to do things right. I see you thinking about things. But you having this end goal that is driving you forward because you want to reach for this pentacle, whatever this is. Pentacle, um, a tangible thing really, it's a blessing. Something, a goal that you have, that's what's driving you. And I see you laying the bricks of the foundations correctly, but slowly so you get things done right. Which is very wise, I would say. This means a lot to you, Aquarius. This means a lot. It's very interesting. Let's get your angel messages as well, shall we? If you've enjoyed this reading, please could you drop a like and a comment? You know I love to read your comments. And um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. You'll get a lot of readings from me, Aquarius. And if you want to check out your sun, moon and rising. Sorry, I made the camera wobble there. Um look at my second channel jade's weekly tarot i do all zodiac signs on there weekly and you'll get an extra reading from me as well so how quick need some more please there's another we've got three for you aquarius remember these numbers if you see them it validates the reading even further four fives clarity 
you aren't a victim of circumstance rather you are the beneficiary of it if that weren't the case life would be pretty dull you will set yourself up for success in the long run if you are willing to adapt to this shift everything is working out for the best at long last you are accomplishing what you set out to do everything will work out perfectly in the end yes you've waited for this for a long time haven't you that's what i see you've you've wanted this for a long long time and it's working out at long last but you do need to adapt to fit this into your life 0303 taking chances yes you are when chances present themselves that's the opportunity seize them and do something out of the ordinary whether in your professional or personal life you will find success by welcoming creative impulses and having faith in your own abilities trust in chance and take risks on opportunities that could change your life for the better wow aquarius 0808 swift action you will enter a time of expansion so begin taking steps forward achieving your ultimate objective immediately finances will miraculously improve oh and someone has their mind set on you aquarius wow could this be some a past love connection perhaps i'm not sure it's interesting but someone is also thinking of you too even if it's just a, a friendship or something Someone is thinking of you, Aquarius, and you're thinking of them. I feel it. Best of luck. This has been wonderful. Let me know in the comments section, is this resonating? You know I'm nosy. I want to know what's going on. Have a fantastic week, Aquarius. I will see you next time. Make sure you subscribe so I get to see you again. And if you need a personal, check out the description of the video. I'd love to do that for you. Have a wonderful day. Love and light.